this is what we are trying to reach. What is this? What you have it here? First, we need to identify something called area of influence, or for example, assume that you have uh, the, some data sets. For example, let me show you what we already have now. For example, you have this kind of particular points, which is called traffic. So I'll just see you. This is where this kind of points we need to create those kind of inputs using these points. So right click, let's see what we have. Then I will explain from the data. Right click, then go to uh, open attribute table. Under this part, you can see each of these points or polygons consisting of sites plus total traffic, revenue, or whatever you can call it. So now I need to, to try to find which kind of areas where it's having the highest traffic, which we can call it area of influence or area of highest, uh, generating highest traffic. So this can be used also due to Veronai. Plus on top of that, I need to classify each area to have a category. For example, by chart that's showing here, which is showing what, okay, this was the total traffic. So I need to know what was the distribution. If you look into 5G, 4G, 3G, this is like this, this total traffic is being divided into three values for these technology. So I need to know within these highest traffic areas, what was the distribution, which technology having the highest traffic for, for an example. So we need, for example, this by chart idea. Then we can just give a label for this based on the site ID here. So actually this is the that stage where I have it. So I will just hide this one for now because this will not be our part. So now we have this kind of points in the map, which is each point representing a site and the site having a traffic. So we need now to create, to convert it into this area of confluence. So again, this is where Voronai tool is coming into the figure. So if you remember for the previous, uh, the first part that you mentioned that Voronai will create a volume for each and every single point. So again, here, if you make a Voronoi, uh, if you could look into the Voronoi, double click and under the Voronoi here, you find again selecting my traffic, which is my area. I can just run it. So now the Voronoi divided the areas into, as you can see, each and every single polygon, right? For each and every single point. Now the easiest way around to categorize this one, for example, by traffic, right? Which you already discussed it, if you remember, but it was bare city name. So you can just right click and go to reporters, or you can just double left click here, right? Like, so you can sound it's opening now. This is my symbology. So I need to categorize it now by, for example, categorize by traffic, right? So here the value, the way it's showing my data, you'll find many inputs here, which is all the table attribute or attribute table. So you need just to, for example, check it by total traffic here, as you can see. So now if you make plus five, Okay, now it's seen, it's giving a lot of different colors. So this is, might not give the indication for what are you looking for. In this key, case, you need to utilize or use this car, uh, kind of uh, function, which is called color ramp. So if you click in this color ramp, for example, if you click here, you will find that it's giving you different colors. For example, a range of colors. Uh, here, if even all color ramps here, you will have many more as well. So for now, I'll be using this spectre, which is starting from red till blue. If you like here, it's classified now my ranges. This is the traffic starting from 1.8, for example, till 7.5 terabyte. So this is actually starting from here. It's classifying from red till blue. But in this case, I would like to see the red as the highest value. So in this case, what you need to, you need to reverse this one to start blue as the lowest and high, uh, red as the highest. So if you click here again, you'll find at the top here, there's something called invert color ramp. So if I invert it now, I'm expecting that the highest traffic area would be showing, for example, from orange till red color. So let's see now what you have. This all other in case, if you have any sites with blank layer, we're giving B red. So this is also can be tuned. You can make it manually or you can even remove it or hide. So now let's generate apply and see what you have. So as expected here, for example, you can see now, we are getting now here is red color, right? And this is orange. So here, this is for example, area presenting a high traffic. However, this site seems to having a low traffic. So maybe you need to look into this area. Maybe it's telling something that we might have a problem here. And in the top also right, showing that this area also having a high, high traffic and you can play around with the formatting. For example, let me first hide this. I'm just hiding the site ID for now. If you double click again, double left click as well. You can just play, for example, under here. This is symbology. You'll find, for example, layer rendering. If you click this layer rendering now, you can, for example, now increase, decrease the obesity, for example, by whatever, 58. Then you close it. Even you can now upload your maps. But I upload to the Google Maps so in case if you'd like, you can just take this one above the Google Maps. So you can just play around with even the Google Maps itself or with uh, the obesity for that part. But for now, let me hide it to make it more clear for us. So this is how it looks like. For example, if you'd like to give a label for that part, you need to double click again and it will be opening that part here. You see that we have labels under the labels, just select by single label. And again, if you re recall it, we can just make it now instead of city, city uh, site ID, I need it by site ID, yes. And you can even give it the any other metric, but for now I need by site ID. Then I will just give a buffer quickly, as same as we did before. I'll just give it as yellow color. 
So I just click and I will apply here and I'm expecting to get my here. So now let's get this kind of, remember we need now that traffic distribution for each and every single technology. For example, if you remember, you click here, right click, go to the open attribute. You'll find this kind of site ID, traffic volume, and this total traffic, and then it's classified by 5G for the regime. So I would like to get the pie chart, if you can recall it, for each and every single site, and so see what is the kind of traffic distribution for technology. So how we can do that? It's the same way, just double click, double left click here, then it will be opening this part. So under this part, you have many options here. So look into this diagram. Under that diagram, for example, usually it's becoming as no diagram. So now, for example, select, you can see you have different options, tag, bars, pie chart. So I just select pie chart. And under pie chart, so I open attribute. Usually this image is not here, so I'll just delete it for now. See now, usually it comes like this. So for example, now we would like to classify or categorize the pie chart based on three things, right? Which is in this example, showing these three technology. So I'll just do like that. Then you have 5G, 4G, 3G. Then you can just here double click and uh, double click in the color, double left click. It change the color, for example, this one to red. Then I need this one, for example, again by orange. Then I'll keep this one as it is. If I apply, see now it's still not giving any information. So in this case, you need to look into the size. So in this case, guys, size is kind of you like there is two options, even a text side or a scale by a specific attribute. Since I don't have attribute to control the size, so I just collect here, for example, fix it size. So for example, if I click now, See now it's coming very big now here it's being classified with color the each color presenting if you remember presenting a, a technology but in this case you can see my, our site id for example is now hided under the volume so under the pie chart so first you can for example reduce the size a little for example you can make this one this depends on your preferences or reference what you, whatever you need as a requirement and now still the, the label site label is not being shown here so just quick note if you remember you just need to go to the label and the same term here and for example, you need just to check this placement, change the location of this one. For example, you need the distance. But then this one, for example, let's make try eight as an example. See now it's coming here, it's coming above here. So now we can just click okay. And this is how it looks like. For example, now we know that if you look into the here, we have our if you, the left side down here, you can see this is our legend. For example, this presenting the traffic, right? And in the ranges. So we're expecting that the highest traffic is red or orange. So this up in the top right here, the area having highest traffic and also this particular area. And this is a traffic distribution. But for example, if you quickly look into that part, the blue area, which having low traffic, as you can see it's generating, having high, higher 4G traffic and the opposite way around. Whenever you find high traffic, you'll find that the 5G is having high traffic. So this is also can give a good visualization whenever you are checking something.